So the next thing we're going to do is create a fat footer, four column fat footer. It is exactly the same process. Okay. Come down here. I want to remove the WP admin link. So I'm going to shift, click on it, drag it up there and drop it. And then I'm going to create a new box. I'm going to add a box. It's going to be a container. The name of the box is footer columns. No, let's see, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it footer widgets. Footer widgets. Add the box. OK, let's give it a class. We're going to give it the class of columns 4. Columns 4, 4. So we're dividing it up by into four columns, or, or dividing the page by four, and we're going to have four columns. I'm not going to do a hook at this point. I could also pick, you know, different HTML tag, but really for the columns, the div is the right one. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to drag my footer widgets to place. And now I need to create those columns to put inside of here. So I'm going to create one column. Whoops. We're going to create a column, footer column one. Column one. Whoops. Add the box. Now the HTML class I want to use here is C1. That's what thesis is looking for. C1 stands for column one. Okay. And then I'm just going to do that again. Another container, footer column two. Add box. We'll say footer column, footer column three. And then one last container, footer column four. Okay, so CSS class, this is C4. This one is C3. This one is C2. Okay, so I'm going to shift drag 4 into footer widgets, shift drag 3 into footer widgets, shift drag 2, and shift drag 1. Now it's time to create widget areas. So I'm going to come back over here to add boxes and I'm going to add a widgets box. And the widget box name is going to be footer1. Okay, so footer1 is my first widget box. We're going to create another one. Footer 2, add another one, footer 3, and add another one, footer 4. Okay, now I can set my own HTML class for each of these if I choose. And I can choose what the title is going to be, whether it's three or four or whatever. For the moment, I'm just going to say widget as my HTML class. That's the same as already. We already have a package for that, so I'm just going to use that one. So widget. And I'm going to paste that again. And paste that again and paste that again. Thank you, Philip. That's right. I did put a dot in there, <laughs> which is, you know, the reason I pointed out the first time was because I made this mistake the first time I was playing with it and couldn't figure out why things didn't work right. Yeah, no dot in the place where there's a class. Thank you, Philip.
Okay. And then we'll just shift drag footer one and drop it into column one. Footer two drops into column two. Footer three drops into column three. Footer four drops into column four. If we come up here and save the template. Come over and go to our widgets panel. You're going to see those are now created. Footers one through four have been created and are there and ready for you to drag stuff into. Okay. So now we've created our footer here, but we haven't created our style for the four widget areas yet. So that's the next thing we need to do. Let's just grab our code. We called that HTML class 44. So I'm going to copy that. Come over to our CSS, create a new package. It's going to be a columns package. The CSS selector is that. The reference, we'll make that an underscore. And the name is four columns. OK. In this case, it's going to be four columns. I'm going to make the width 25%. All right, I could use EMs, I could use pixels, I can use whatever I, inches even, oddly enough. I'm going to make it left floating. In terms of padding, I'm not going to have any right padding, but I'm going to do left padding of 11 pixels. Column 2, 25%. Column 2 alignment is going to be left, padding, I'm going to do right padding of 11 and left padding of 11. Column 3 is going to be 25%. It's going to float left. I'm going to do 11, whoops, not 40, but 11 and 11. And then column four, 25%. Actually, I'll float that one right just for grins. Right is 11. Oops. Actually, left is 11 and right is none. And hit save. And then, just like we did a columns three, two here, we come over and do columns four, four. Save and compile. Come back over and look at our site. And presto changeo, we now have four widget areas down in our footer, which sit above this. Okay, what about text alignment? Left, right, justified, and centered. Okay, that stuff is going to be handled by a widget style. So right now, we have widgets here. And suckler is widget. And now in options, you can set things like, you know, all that kind of stuff in this. There are also other things you can do as well. Let's see, does it have alignment? Font weight, text align. Yeah, it does have text alignment. So you could, for example, in fact, let's create one. Well, actually, we'll just get back to that. You can create another widget style like widget right, and then then over on the HTML side, go down to widget 4, and instead of it being, whoops, pardon me, instead of saying widget, you could say widget R or whatever, widget right, and then you could set the right one differently than the other three, okay? So we are going to save that template, come back over and look at it. Let's go to our home page. Let's go to our home page. Notice how it's not in this. That's because we've been working in the page template, right? If we want this footer to exist in the home page template as well, we can just come over here to home. And we can take our footer and we drag our thesis attribution out of this. What am I doing? Yes, I am shift dragging thesis attribution and drop it here. 
and then shift drag footer widgets and drop it into footer shift drag column four column three column two column one open it up shift drag footer one footer two footer three and footer four and hit save come back over and refresh our home page and now those are there want to see what it looks like in a singles page come over to the single page it's not there anymore right okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the single template however we aren't gonna make all those changes that we just did here what we are going to do actually single is kinda of complicated because single has comments and stuff like that comments and post nav and that sort of thing I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create actually a custom template. Add new, and I'm just going to call it single placeholder. Create the template. And then single placeholder is going to take everything from the single template. I'm going to copy that template. Now my single placeholder template is identical to the current single template. So now I'm going to come over to my single template. And I'm going to copy the page template to it. Copy that template. I'm going to replace an existing one like that. Okay. And now the single it doesn't have all the stuff that you might whoops I need to save that save the template it doesn't have all the stuff you know comments and post navigation and stuff like that that you want in a in the single so I'd have to add that stuff back into it but it now has the two columns right so now the only page that shows up as three columns is is our post page